what's up lego builders welcome back to coconut brick studios for my latest lego star wars mock showcase scouting mission on umbara before i get into the video i do want to note if i sound weird or i'm hard to understand during this video i do apologize i'm feeling sick i've got some congestion up in the head nose and throat area but i want to power through and get this out for you guys on time so just bear with me and hopefully i won't start babbling incoherently during this so this mock depicts my custom rhino company being dropped down onto the planet umbara for a scouting mission they're being dropped down by my custom ucs scale republic attack shuttle it's not the biggest mock i've ever done but i had a lot of fun putting this one together and i got to use some cool fun techniques that i think you guys will be interested in and it was fun to go back to umbara especially with all the dark tan that i've been doing it's it was nice for a color change and one so drastic with the red and the black you guys are excited to get into the details of this mock don't forget to execute order 66 on that like button and if you're new to the channel watching for the first time consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future content all that being said let's break this bad boy down another thing i want to point out it is very hard to showcase black mocks because they eat up so much light that when i zoom in to give you guys close-up shots you know sometimes the fringes or the lighter sections of the mock can glow super bright or if I zoom back to help darken it a little bit, it's hard to see the details of what's going on. So I do apologize for that. I will do my best to give you guys an accurate view of what's going on here. So we've got my custom Rhino company down here being dropped onto the planet's surface. There might there are probably a lot of you guys who aren't familiar with who Rhino Company is, so I'm going to put a link to a video up in the top corner that will explain where these guys come from and why I made them. This is my custom. They are my purest custom clone company. They're being dropped off by this Republic attack shuttle. This was actually one of the reasons why this mock came about is because I'd finished this shuttle and I was intending on using it in a mock. Part of the reason I built this mock was to showcase this beautiful Republic attack shuttle. If you want to see more about this, I'll put a review. I'll put my review video up in the top right corner. So we've got four members of Rhino Company down here on the planet's surface with their captain leading them right there. So these two guys were dropped down first and they're creating a bit of a perimeter while these other two come down. You can see they've been dropped by this electric fence. Their goal is to infiltrate an Umbaran airbase, and this is kind of like the perimeter fence, so they're being dropped just on the inside. That way they are far enough away to avoid detection, and they don't have to worry about scaling this electric fence themselves. Over here on the other side, we've got one of these... I forget what they're called. It's those beasts you see in Umbara. They've just got the head with all the tentacles. You can see there's its mouth right there. And it just finished a snack of an Umbaran guard. There's his helmet right there on the tip of the tentacle, which should help Rhino Company remain undetected for a little while longer. So now that you guys know the overall story of what's going on here, there are a couple of things that I want to show you guys. So the, when I do smaller mocks like this, I like to incorporate new techniques, a little bit more complicated techniques, just because I don't have that size factor. I want to replace that with like a wow factor and so something I tried out on this mock is I actually built the base most of the base is snot you can see right here a bunch of bricks laid on their side I actually built this plate and set it on top of the snot so you have this nice combination of smooth snot terrain with the more textured plate and tile terrain up above that and I really like this look it helped make the overall terrain look a little bit more interesting it allowed me to get this super weird shape because I could just build it with bricks and then I kind of set plates in different sections. This is definitely something I would recommend, especially with Umbara because, I don't know, Umbara is kind of like such an inky, black, mysterious planet. You can do some really cool looking terrain with this and you can also... And this snot terrain allowed me to just kind of set whatever structures and plants on top of it. You can see like this isn't even connected. Neither is this, so it allows me to really customize what I want my terrain to look like and move it around to the best positions possible. The electric fence is a pretty simple design, just some light bluish gray pillars interconnected by these trans clear cylinders to represent the electrical the electrical wires. I wanted to include this in the mock because so much of Umbara is just their vast is just kind of wasteland wasteland slash jungle. So I wanted to incorporate some kind of man-made structure to help give it height and to give it a little bit of color and just to tell a little bit more of a story. You know, without this electric fence, it was, this would just be them being dropped down into some random patch in Umbara. Another thing I added to the mock that I thought was pretty cool is you can see these Umbaran plants are pretty thick everywhere except for where the fence is. And I did that on purpose and I wanted to look I wanted it to look like the Umbaran locals had kind of chopped back the foliage to keep to keep it away from the fence to make sure it didn't get damaged or broken in any patches. And you can see I've got a lot of these smaller plants here down around the base of the fence, kind of to represent like all of the taller ones had been chopped back. And so you've got these much smaller plants that are growing there at the base and will eventually be trimmed as well. 
man, it is really hard to show you guys what I want to talk about here, but you can kind of see in the middle here, there's another big patch of snot brick. And this allowed me to be able to put these fences. You could, this allowed me to be able to put this fence at an angle. You can see if you look at it from a distance, it's slightly curved. And I would have been able to do that if these were connected to studs, but since this one was just sitting on top of the snot brick, it allowed me to put it at an angle like that. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you guys for this mock. It's pretty small. So, you know, there's not a whole lot to show you guys. Nonetheless, there were a couple of fun techniques that I wanted to share with you guys that hopefully, you know, you can incorporate into your own builds. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And don't forget to let me know what you think about this mock down below in the comments, what your favorite part is, if there's anything you would change. And if you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below. And I will catch you guys later. But until next time, happy building.